Welcome to Crocodile MTG. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG. Today we are playing Mono Red Phoenix. And I think this hand is pretty decent. If we find a second land off this Faith of Looting, we're able to actually turn to Arclight Phoenix. So I am going to keep this hand. We are also on the play. The Mono Red as opposed to the Is It Phoenix deck, I'll play this Faithful Saluting here, is just the more aggressive version of the deck. So we found our second land. I don't think we need this Desperate rit Ritual. So I'm going to discard Ritual here and I'll pass the turn. It looks like we're playing against Tron here. So this turn two Phoenix, what we're going to do is go Manamorphose into Lightning Bolt into Lightning Bolt. And hopefully that's just enough to be more aggressive than our opponent. Ooh, I almost clicked green there. That would have been bad. Alright, so bolt our opponent. Bolt our opponent. Move the combat. We're gonna get back Phoenix. Attack in with our Phoenix. And start putting pressure on our opponent. Now we do have five spells in the graveyard, so these Bedlam live. Bedlam Revelers are actually only going to cost us three. Alright, so our opponent here has a turn three Tron. We drew a Lightning Bolt. So I'm going to play the Soul, Soul Scour Mage and swing for three. Our opponent is getting low on life. So let's see, what can our opponent play here that we're actually worried about? Alright, it looks like they don't have a Karn, which is good for us. It does look like they're digging for something. Alright, so they're going to play Relic of Progenitus, which does kind of suck. Alright, and a Ratchet Bomb here. Alright, so this is going to delay our our Bedlam Revelers. But we do have Lethal on board here. Alright, and that just is going to win us the game. I don't think our opponent can do anything about two bolts. So I'm going to swing in. I'm going to bolt our opponent. Our opponent goes down to five, and then there's five damage on board. We'll see if our opponent sees it. All right, so they're going to draw a card. I'm assuming trying to find something. Maybe a dismember to kill one of these. But even if they found dismember, it would have been lethal here. All right, that's the game. So the sideboard for this matchup. I don't want to over sideboard. So the cards I'm thinking we can possibly bring in here are Blood Moon and a Braid. Now the question is, what do we cut for those cards? 
because I don't want to cut too many lightning bolt effects. I could see cutting a fiery temper or two. And maybe a gut shot for the blood moons. And maybe one soul scour mage for a, a braid. And a braid. All right, I'm gonna run this. I don't think I want to go all in. I don't think a braid's that good. I just think it's situationally good. Like if it's in our opening hand, it has potential of being a decent card. All right, this hand is a little slow, but it has the turn three blood moon. That being said, I think I still want to mulligan this. All right, this hand is a little better. All right, and it got better with faceless, faithless looting here. All right, so nothing from our Tron player. All right, so we're going to discard this Phoenix. And I think the Mana Morphos, because I think next turn I want to go desperate ritual, desperate ritual into Tormenting Voice into this Fiery Temper with Madness. That being said, I can also try and find another Phoenix and swing in for six, but that would require me discarding this Bedlam Reveler. And I don't know how important the Reveler will be later in the game. That being said, we have four Revelers and four Arclights. Maybe it is just better to cut the Reveler here. Jerry T, if you're watching this, please tell me if I'm wrong. If you're watching this and you want to tag Jerry T and annoy him, do that. I'd be surprised if our opponent doesn't have some sort of turn to play. Maybe they just have the natural Tron in hand. All right, nothing from our opponent. All right, so I'm going to start with Mana Morphos here since I kept it. Red, red. All right, and a gut shot. So now I'm going to cast Desperate Ritual. Uh, I'm going to play Tormenting Voice. I'm going to discard this Fiery Temper. I'm going to Fiery Temper our opponent. I'm going to draw two cards to refill my hand. And one, two, three, four cards were played. All right, so we're going to get our Phoenix back here. We'll swing in for three. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay. All right, so Phoenix is down. Maybe our opponent kept his hand because... Well, I guess we'll see here. Does he have the natural Tron? All right, it doesn't look like he did. Otherwise, he'd play that first. I wonder if our opponent was just thinking, you know we were all in on the Arclight Phoenix. So next turn what I can actually do 
depending on what I draw, is play this Monastery Swift Spear, maximum velocity it twice, and gut shot our opponent, discarding whatever I draw. All right. And then we're going to be swinging in for, I think, let's see, trigger, trigger, that's five, six, nine, ten. So we hit our opponent for ten next turn. Again, this depends on what we draw here. We draw a lightning bolt. All right, same concept, change of plans, instead of discarding. All right, we're going to play the Swift Spear. We're going to maximum velocity of this uh, Swift Spear. We're going to bolt our opponent. We're going to ping our opponent for one. All right, our Phoenix comes back. We swing in for eight. And then next turn, I'm threatening lethal, depending on what our opponent gets. All right, so our opponent has a ghost. A ghost quarter. I'm surprised they played that because they could have cracked their map and had five mana. All right, so our opponent's gonna play a thought not seer. I guess they're going with a little more of a conservative approach. So the question is here: is do I want to play Bayfield's looting? or maximize velocity. So if I maximum velocity our swift spear, it becomes a 3-4 which cannot attack through the Thought Knot Seer. And our arc light is not lethal and our opponent has eight mana next turn which could be very bad for us the one thing i'm struggling with right now also is if i play this land and then faithless looting we have to discard whatever we draw but if we draw a fiery temper that's just lethal But I guess it'd be lethal next turn too. I don't think. All right, so I'm gonna cast Faithless Looting. Do we want? All right, I guess I'll keep Swift Spear as kind of like a backup plan. If our opponent has something like Ugin and then gets arrogant and attacks in with Thought Not Seer, I can just kill him with a Swift Spear, discard something, maximum velocity. We'll just wait and see what our opponent has here. They have to find a way to get rid of this Phoenix, so if they find that... Alright, our opponent tapped wrong there. They tapped a tower and, uh, and a ghost quarter, and they grabbed a power plant, which they already had. All right, our opponent conceded here. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video.